Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do like a little compare and contrast of these two viral K-Beauty essences. All right, so we have the Mixun Bean Essence and then we also have the Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence. So I'm pretty sure the Snail Mucin one is a lot more popular. It's already done the rounds on TikTok and all the other social media platforms. And the Mixun Bean Essence is one that's lesser known, but it's just getting its virality, okay? So definitely the more popular of the two is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence by Cosrx. Long name. Um, as you can see, I've definitely tested it out, so I think I'll be a pretty good judge of character for this guy. And I'm also really excited to talk about the Mixun Bean Essence, okay? If you're one of those people that want to be ahead of the trends, okay, I'm already seeing a lot of chitter chatter about this bean essence, so stay tuned for that. All right, just so you guys know what you're in for, I'm going to do a little description of the product, I'm going to talk about the public opinion, and I'm going to talk about my own opinion, and then I'll do like a final comparison of the two at the very end. First, we're going to start off with the Snail Mucin, then the Bean Essence, and then we're gonna go Tyra Bang style, who's the next top model. Also speaking of Costa Rex, I just wanna let you guys know really fast, I had like a little breakout and I'm one of those people that pick my face. So I used one of the little Costa Rex patches you probably didn't even notice. Um, I use it just for like redness and kind of get rid of like the, the bump, you know, the texture, but I don't really think they do much other than that. Um, but of course, any of the products I talk about, I'll be linking in the description so that way you guys can peruse if you want to. But without further ado, let's get into the snail muse in essence. So before anything, let's talk about packaging because I'm really big into packaging. I, to be honest, I hate this packaging. I think it's really boring. Obviously, I like the product because it's gone. I mean, it's good for what it is, right? You know, you're paying for the product, not for the packaging in this case. It's a plastic bottle. I would have loved a glass one because it makes me feel more luxurious, but it's good for like traveling. And if you're clumsy, I'm clumsy. I drop things all the time. It won't break if you drop it. Not really a fan of the color scheme. I love that it has like a nozzle. We love a nozzle, we love a lid. So that's about it for the packaging. Packaging, I give it like a two out of 10. This is clearly not a vegan product. So believe it or not, this one's made from snail mucin. So benefits, 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 benefits. So this one has anti-aging properties, which we love. This has anti-inflammatory properties, which we also love. Other things that we love. <laughs> So other things that we love, it has antibacterial properties and it also helps prevent against skin cancer, which is pretty cool. So as you can tell, the consistency is very slimy. It's very snaily. It's clear, fragrance-free, and it's super hydrating. Okay, so the public opinion, the public court, right? So some people think it's overhyped. Some people think that it's worth the hype. And some people haven't tried it. <laughs> So I know for some people it caused breakouts and other people it didn't. So I'm just going to talk about my own experience now. So basically for me, I actually really liked it. I thought it was very, very hydrating and it has one of those like instant effects. I feel like it gives you that glass skin look. It also did not cause me to break out and it's really good for sensitive skin. So those are just like the things that I liked about it and I didn't have the acne issues. Did it change my life? No. But would I buy it again? Yes, I would. All right. So next up we have the Mixun Bean Essence. The packaging on this one is also plastic, so it's good for traveling. I shouldn't hate on plastic products, but I just like the glass products. I think they look fancier. They feel cooler. Um, I will say the packaging on this one is better. I like the color scheme better. It just looks more like simple and clean. I like it. <laughs> And I'll show you guys a B-roll of the consistency. It's very similar to the snail mucin. So this one is obviously a bean essence. Therefore, it's not an animal byproduct. It's not from a snail. It is from fermented bean, which I think is really cool. So if you think of like natto, you know, it's giving that vibe, you know, so it's pretty slimy, very hydrating. So according to the court of public opinion, I haven't seen a lot of negative things about this yet. It is one of the newer products, so therefore people don't really have a lot of negative things to say about it yet because it's just starting to do its rounds on social media. Um, so, so that, yeah, so it's doing pretty good. So one of the properties that gives the bean essence an edge up on the snail mucin is that this one not only hydrates, but it also exfoliates in a very like light, non-irritating way. It's very, very good for sensitive skin. And so if you want like an exfoliation, if you want a product that helps exfoliate your skin, but still hydrates and doesn't strip your skin of its goodness, then I think you'll really like this product. So, and because of the bean, it's actually really rich in antioxidants. And then it also has vitamin C and vitamin E for everyone. <laughs> it helps balance your skin tone. And my favorite part is that it smooths your skin texture. Overall, it's just really good at strengthening your skin health, which we love, obviously. 
I would say that the best use of this product is when you're applying it, you're doing circular motions on your face, and then you kind of get like your favorite toner and like a cotton pad and whatnot, and you wipe off any of the excess like skin debris that you might have gotten from the exfoliating process. But you could also just leave it on your face too. So I don't know, it's kind of up to you, but I feel like you really shouldn't leave it on your face like you would with the snail mucin because it does have that exfoliating property to it. So it's like you're just leaving dead skin on your face if you don't follow through. So do what you want with that. So my own personal opinion is that I really, really like it. I really like the Mixun Bean Essence. I feel like it helped me learn more about my skin in a way because it's one of those ones that you kind of have to know about the product. You can't just put it on your face and hope that it gives you that glass skin. Like you have to use the product in the right way. It really helped teach me something, you know? It really helped me revamp my own skincare routine. Okay, so final thoughts, final comparison. I really feel like if you want like an instant effect, if you want instant glass skin, I would say the snail mucin is going to give it to you faster. There, I said it. Don't crucify me. It's true. The snail mucin is going to give you faster results. Just saying. If you want a product that's vegan, definitely lean towards the bean essence. Now the catch is the type of glass skin that you're getting from the snail mucin is the type of little screen protector you put on your phone. That stuff cracks pretty easy, doesn't it? If you want that good bulletproof glass skin that takes a little minute to build up into your face, then you're going to lean towards the bean essence. The image that I reveal will be the next top essence of cycle 2024. If I do not show your image, you must pack your things and leave the house immediately. And the winner of cycle 2024 goes to Mixoon Bean Essence. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this video. And also just remember to always listen to your skin. Your skin knows best. We all have different skins. So just like Fortnite, choose wisely. And just have fun trying new products and trying to curate your own skincare routine. They should all be different because we all, again, have different skin. If you guys have any, any, any recommendations, please let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.